matter where you are in the world, on the cleanest of beaches, in the city, the most remote area, you're always going to find our trash. It's everywhere that we go. And my career, my job now, is really focused on looking at the relationship between humans and our environment, particularly focusing on plastic pollution. One of the big projects that we had was in 2011 to 2014, where we secured funding to do a national survey around the entire continent of Australia. And we were looking at the sources, the amounts, the types of plastic pollution around the entire country. Um, another part of that project was to engage um, the community. And with that, we went and spoke to school kids, we had teachers come on expeditions, and we spoke to some members of the public about the work. By the end of the project, we'd worked with over 7,000 school kids as citizen scientists. We analyzed the data, we published a series of papers, and that attracted a lot of attention from the media and from industry and government partners who are interested in understanding their role in addressing the plastic pollution issue. In my time as CEO of the Australian Packaging Covenant, we had a problem to address. How does a piece of packaging go from the land into the water and become pollution? We partnered with the CSIRO and their research helped us build a strategic approach to address the problem. One of the really exciting opportunities in the work that I do is a chance to mentor the next generation. And Kathy Willis is one of the students that I've been lucky enough to work with. Building on work done by a student in 2013, I'm about to visit 40 local councils around Australia. At each of these councils, we're running beach transects to measure how much plastic pollution is on their beaches. We're then going to interview the waste managers at each of those councils. So with this data, we'll be able to analyse and compare how waste management has changed from 2013 to now 2018. Our new Global Plastics Project is focusing primarily in the Southeast Asia region at the moment. And there we're building capacity with on-ground partners in the countries and we're collecting data along rivers, in inland areas, along the coastline and out at sea. And with these country partners we're developing a global baseline of plastic waste and leakage from land out into the ocean. The volunteers are collecting the data for us and they're now sending it back to us and my job is to assimilate all that data and pass it on to the other team members for analysis. This is some of the most exciting research I've ever had the opportunity to do. People care about this plastic pollution issue. It's something that resonates with people, whether it's industry, governments, private citizens. And the science that we're carrying out is answering people's questions on how we all together can help resolve the plastic pollution issue.